Jim, I don't think there's anyone who watched that game today who would have thought that we didn't deserve to take something from it, a really battling performance and a deserved point in the end. Yeah, I agree, Greg, yeah. A real uh, togetherness shown, um, a real will to survive. Um, and one of the things that was said at half-time from myself to the team was, you know, I want to see an, an brilliant, uh, a willingness to embrace uh Suffering really, we're gonna to have to suffer. We're gonna to have to suffer to have any chance. And I thought, um, unless we got something from a set piece, I thought our chances would open up late in the game. Um, and it did turn out that way. And I thought, through brilliant fight, brilliant togetherness, an unreal willingness to run, um, knowing that we were gonna suffer without the ball, on a real heavy pitch that takes it out your legs. Out, I had my concerns for the team, but I always believed that if they were willing to sacrifice themselves for the greater good, if you like, and the greater good being a potential result still on the line, I felt like we could get something. I felt like later on we could develop 1v1s. And yeah, it was one of those games that actually sort of, from half time onwards, played out how I thought I would, uh, how I thought it would after um, it was a very disappointing decision from the referee to me. Yeah, I have to ask you about that because obviously the game did kind of change on that on that moment. Um, your thoughts on the decision and will the club sort of be appealing that one? Yeah, I I, I don't know how closely um, these these interviews are monitored, Greg. Uh, so I'm mindful of what I say and how I say it. I've got some strong feelings about the decision. Um, to give you a clue, it's the second time this season that I've been to see a referee after a game that I, I just needed to. Um, the first one was Halifax away after the most disgraceful offside or onside decision I've ever seen against us for a goal. Um, don't want to go there again mentally, but yeah. And then today, um, after seeing the red back, I just felt live that it was um, almost fan-led. It was on that side of the pitch, not directly in front of the Hartlepool fan, but kind of... Um, I felt like the referee had, had an interpretation of the like the minute before that and how he may have perceived Cairo's altercation. Um, I, I just thought it was completely fan-led in the moment. And these guys have got difficult decisions. I respect that they have. But um, after seeing it back cold, Greg, it's probably one of the first times I've fully believed that we're going to have an appeal over 10 because I don't see how it's not. When I see it back, it's a clean, low safe tackle in my opinion it really is um, that the player seems to ride completely um, if I'm right or wrong who knows but that's my interpretation um, I, I wasn't out there I didn't make the tackle I, I didn't receive the tackle but watching it back from all of the best angles possible that I can I don't see how that's not going to get overturned but I think uh, the spirit that the team had to find from that moment on is more important than the nature of the referee's poor decision for me on the day. I'm really, really proud with the guts and the fight that the team shown when uh, it, it's it's a stage of the season whereby they may be finding that sort of inspiration uh, wane a little bit with five games to go, four games to go, but they did. They found it. They ran. They represented Rochdale unbelievably so, unbelievably well. Um, very proud of them. Whether you kind of whether you disagree or agree with the decision, you have to react to it, don't you? What was kind of the game plan going into the second half? Um, looking at the makeup of the team we had on the pitch, we we felt that um, it would be a survival type situation, and to try and break the will of Hartlepool, um, try and send out a message that in open play they weren't going to be able to break us down. Um, I felt like they would want the ball in our box, and they would potentially be impatient to do so given uh, where they've been at recently and I felt like with what we set up we could cope with that I felt like we had the skills on the pitch to cope with that and I felt like we could be a counter threat I didn't think we were going to be a counter threat from the f the first half of the second half though I felt like that might may have to be a uh, backs to the wall dig in survive type situation and I think the players did that perfectly and I think the fact that Hartlepool only scored from a corner when Numbers don't matter so much. It's just you know a genuine uh, physical matchup at times that we've been brilliant at all season. If I'm being honest, um, we lost one of those. It happens, and that was a shame in the moment. I thought 
this this could be a challenge to our will now. So my focus was on the players individually and was I seeing fight in them still from that moment to commit to the game plan, commit to what we'd said at half time and truly believe that we could get something late in the game. Um it played out that way. The the, the players kept that belief and they kept that belief in line with with most of the people in the stadium with us that kept that belief also. Not everyone, not everyone, uh, but most did. And I was delighted for the players and most of those people in the stadium today that kept the belief with us, fought with us till the end. Collectively, I hope everyone enjoyed that moment. And the goal itself kind of shows uh, exactly you know the, the real true strengths of Dev, doesn't it? It's kind of getting in behind and then keeping his composure to round the goalkeeper. It does. He was fantastic and he's in a, he's in a good vein of form recently. He had to... He had to sacrifice for the team today and become that lone striker. It's a, it's exactly that. It's a lonely shift uh, where the rewards could not really seem plentiful for all the work that you just have to do for the team. Um, Dev, from from that moment on, had to just do what the team needed him to, knowing that he may not get anything from the game, but if we could have a moment and if he could stay fresh enough in his mind, if he could believe enough, uh, he could get something late. And I was delighted for him. The life for him, Greg's the life for the team. Um, we are protecting, if you like, um, a, a good run of form at home. Um, we've, I think, we've only lost a couple of games at home now in in quite a long time, really. And the players are mindful of that. They've got a pride in that. You know, the the fans are with us on that. Um, and we kept fighting right till the end, which is something to be proud of.